Question 1. How to find middle element of a singly linked list in one pass? Answer. You should clarify what does mean by one pass in this question. If interviewer says that you cannot loop twice and you just have to use one loop A, then you can use the two-pointer approach to solving this problem. In the two-pointer approach, you have two pointers, fast and slow. In each step, the fast pointer moves two nodes, while slow pointer just steps one node. So, when fast pointer will point to the last node i.e. where next node is null, the slow pointer will be pointing to the middle node of the linked list. Question 2. How to check if linked list contains loop in Java? How to find the starting node of the loop? Answer. This is another interesting linked list problem which can be solved using the two-pointer approach discussed in the first question. This is also known as tortoise and hare algorithm. Basically, you have two pointers fast and slow and they move with different speed i.e. fast moves two nodes in each iteration and slow moves one node. If linked list contains cycle then at some point in time, both fast and slow pointer will move and point to the same node. If this didn't happen and one of the pointer reaches the end of linked list means linked list doesn't contain any loop. Question 3. How to reverse a linked list in Java? Answer. This is probably the most popular linked list interview question which is asked to both junior programmers with 2 to 3 years of experience and senior developers containing 4 to 6 years of experience. Some of you may think this is the simplest of linked list problem but when you actually go doing it you will be stuck in many places. The simplest approach to solving this problem is by using recursion because linked list is a recursive data structure as shown in the solution article. Question 4. How to reverse a singly linked list without recursion in Java? Answer. The previously linked list interview question becomes even more challenging when the interviewer asks you to solve the problem without recursion. You need to keep reversing links on the node until you reach the end which will then become new head. Question 5. How would you remove a node from a doubly linked list? Answer. This is one of the frequently asked linked list interview questions. Mostly asked freshers and computer science college graduates. In order to remove a node from the doubly linked list, you need to go through that node and then change the links so that it points to the next node. Removing nodes from head and tail is easy in linked list but removing a node from the middle of the linked list requires you to travel to the node hence take over and time. If you want to learn more about B Basic operations on linked list data structure, please read a good book on data structure and algorithms for example Introduction to Algorithms by Thomas H. Carmen. Question 6. Write a program to convert a binary tree into a doubly linked list. Answer. This problem is opposite of question 25 where you need to write a program to convert a double linked list to the balanced binary tree. The left and right pointers in nodes of a binary tree will be used as previous and next pointers respectively in converted doubly linked list. The order of nodes in the doubly linked list must be same as in order of the given binary tree. The first node of in order traversal. Leftmost node in the binary tree tree must be the head node of the doubly linked list. Question 7. How to find the length of a singly linked list in Java? Answer. This is one of the easiest linked list questions you can expect in an interview. That's why it is often asked on telephonic interviews. In order to find the length of linked list, you can iterate over linked list and keep a count of nodes until you reach the end of the linked list where next node will be null. The value of the counter is the length of linked list. Question 8. Write code to print out the data stored in each node in a singly linked list. Answer. This is another simplest question which just tests whether you know linked list traversal or not. You can get the value from the node by accessing its value property. You just need to traverse through linked list, access each node and print value. Question 9. How to find the kth node from the end in a singly linked list? Answer. This is one of the tricky but frequently asked linked list questions. Some of you may be wondering how do you find kth node from end? Singly linked list can only traverse in one direction and that is forward. Then how do you count nodes from the end? Well, you don't have to. You can still move forward and count nodes from the end. Actually, that's the trick. You can use two pointers to find the nth node from the end in a singly linked list. They are known as fast and slow points. You start slow pointer when the fast pointer reaches to the kth node from start. For example if you have to find 3 a node from the end then you start slow pointer when the fast pointer reaches to the third node. This way, when your fast pointer reaches to the end, your slow pointer will be on the third node from the end. 
Question 10. What is the difference between an array and linked list in Java? Answer. This is one of the frequently asked linked list questions on programming job interviews. There is much difference between an array and linked list but the most important is how they are stored into the memory location. Array stores elements at the adjacent memory location while linked list stores them at scattered which means searching is easy in an array and difficult in linked list but adding and removing an element from start and end is easy in linked list. See here for more differences between array and linked list. Question 11. Difference between singly and doubly linked list in Java Answer. The key difference between a single and double linked list data structure in Java is that singly linked list only contains pointer to next node which means you can only traverse in one direction i.e. forward but doubly linked list contains two points both previous and next nodes hence you can traverse to both forward and backward direction. Question 12. How to implement a linked list using generics in Java? Answer. It's not easy to implement a linked using generics in Java, especially if have not written any parametric or generic class. But it's a good exercise to get familiar with both linked list data structure as well generics in Java. Question 13. How to insert a node at the beginning of the list? Answer. Inserting a node at the beginning of the list is probably the easiest of all operations. Let's talk about what is involved here referring to the diagram above. This involves creating a new node with the new data, say int 10, making its link point to the current first node pointed to by head data value 2 and lasting changing head to point to this new node. Simple, right? Question 14. How to insert a node at the end of the list? Answer. This case is a little bit more revolved. If you have a tail pointer, it is as easy as inserting at the beginning of the list. If you do not have a tail pointer, you will have to create the new node. Traverse the list till you reach the end, i.e. the next pointer is null, and then make that last node's next pointer point to the new node. Question 15. How do you traverse a linked list in Java? Answer. There are multiple ways to traverse a linked list in Java. For example, you can use traditional for while or do while loop and go through the linked list until you reach the end of the linked list. Alternatively, you can use enhanced for loop of Java 1.5 or iterator to traverse through a linked list in Java from JDK 8 onwards. You can also use java.util.stream.stream for traversing a linked list.